associated with elevated alcohol consumption uh, more likely I don't really no I don't I don't really I don't drink alcohol Wait, let me just click on the memory performance you have a higher tendency for strong memory performance 100% I actually agree to this one my memory is like super duper uh, strong like I can remember from like way back even when I was like three years old um, and this one is, is sample population is uh, mostly from European there is none for East Asian as of now but um, it's scientifically validated right now um, as, as what it says as we all basically know the personality and um, intelligence so the personality and intelligence are more influenced by environment than genetics and on the other side food and nutrition physical traits and sports are more influenced by genetics than by the environment for personality and intelligence we can drastically shape our own ways uh, as opposed to food and nutrition, physical traits and sports are heavily influenced by genetics. So yeah. Well my hair is smelling good. Um just had a shower. So um but basically here are my new results uh, and more insights of my uh, uh DNA and let's get right into it. Whew. Okay, so I've I should have already logged in um, and here it is by the way every time I talk I hear myself weirdly um, because I have some okay let me just log in logged in okay so these are completely new um, as you can see wow that's a lot okay uh, start off with personality personality okay uh, susceptibility to framing uh, okay so these ones are already there okay so there's a new one so after neuroticism uh, vulnerability to helicopter parenting what does this mean intermediate helicopter parenting or parental over control is defined as being involved in your child's life in an excessively controlling way okay so I'm not a I'm not gonna be a helicopter parent that's what I say. Uh, no loyalty seeking is intermediate. Uh, okay. Make decision. All right. So experience loneliness less. Yeah, yeah, I don't really experience loneliness. How easily an individual experiences loneliness can be influenced by the existence of several genetic markers. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, more harm avoidance behavior okay so i avoid harm harm avoidance is the tendency to gear actions towards things that yield a low likelihood of potential physical or emotional harm individuals with high harm avoidance behavior tend to be more fearful doubtful and shy yeah so i am on the other side of being fearful doubtful and shy so i don't Less likely to be impulsive at 50, age 15. Okay, let's see what's showing a sleep. And this, what does it mean? Teenagers undergoing important, but some teenagers can be especially wild. Less likely to be impulsive. All right, fear of pain in the middle. Um, all right, uh, fear of pain in the middle. So resist instant gratification strongly. All right. Uh, instant gratification is all right. That's a good thing. Instant gratification is defined as the tendency to discount the value of delayed versus current rewards, and the preference towards obtaining current rewards. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, I resist instant instant gratification strong. So I don't want things right away, right now, right this second, that kind of thing. So it's like a okay, pretty good. Uh, experience positive experience positive effect less frequently okay i experience positive effect less frequently positive effect is any experience of a positive emotion such as satisfaction enthusiasm or happiness 
less frequent okay all right uh, social network intermediate most people crave a sense of community or social network on which they can depend um okay in the in the middle risk averse risk taking is low okay a risk taker generally shows both courage and ability to execute even under uncertain circumstances without fear of failure okay before anything i see the less likely to use cannabis there okay um anger is intermediate okay still so showing rays of aggression all right social rejection intermediate uh okay uh less likely to use cannabis research shows that those who have high lifetime probability of cannabis use have certain personality trait associations including high level motivation and strong novelty seeking behavior wow wow less likely to use, i'm less likely to use cannabis the way the cannabis is associated is with um high level motivation wow strong novelty seeking behavior that's a very uh, powerful statement coming from genetics insight wow okay less easily addicted to gambling uh okay i don't really gamble but that thing okay uh facial emotion recognition ability is weaker okay the ability to recognize emotion either from the face or from body language okay lower resilience resilience is the ability to bounce back from stress the larger the amount of stress you can tolerate and bounce back from the more resilient you are okay less easily depressed okay uh, is a music graph. less easily depressed okay less easily hypnotized hypnosis is a technique to induce the subject into a hypnotic state yeah people really can't really control my brain okay so that's this is very interesting very interesting so next one is uh where is the next one food and nutrition there's more for food and nutrition yes there is there's more lower blood serum level for b vitamin b12 okay that's crazy vitamin b12 is an important component in several metabolic pathways humans cannot produce vitamin b12s in our body so we must obtain it from our diet oh wow okay I think I heard vitamin B12 is from mostly from meat and dairy, is it? I'm not too sure. Uh, I think there's very few uh, plant-based vitamin B12 out there. I'm not sure. I need to look it up because uh, I heard like vegetarians and vegans uh, get less vitamin B12. Okay, response to vitamin E supplements. Vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin and has antioxidant effects. Vitamin E has many uh, physiological functions, including protecting against heart disease, nervous system disorders, and pregnancy complications. Okay, intermediate. Next one is alpha linolenic acid. Intermediate. Alpha linolenic acid, ALA, is an essential omega 3 fatty acid known as the good fat oh okay oh yeah ala acid i was just reading about it three days ago about this um intermediate okay higher blood serum level calcium oh, my bones are strong is that same? calcium is an essential mineral 99 percent is located in the bones and teeth and act as a structural component okay blood glucose lower blood glucose level Blood glucose indicates the level of sugar in your blood. Blood glucose fluctuates throughout the day, typically at its lowest before meals and highest immediately following meals. So lower blood glucose level. Okay, milk allergy, lower risk. Milk allergy ranks as one of the top three food allergies along with allergies to egg white and peanuts. Okay, lower risk, lower risk. Lower risk egg allergy. Egg allergy is an immune hypersensitivity to proteins found in eggs and it is a heritable trait. Okay. Uh, shrimp allergy. 
intermediate, uh, less sensitive to gluten, okay? Lower risk peanut allergy, okay? Um, let's see, what is it? Uh, gliadin and component of gluten causes clot inflammation in people with gluten sensitivity. Peanut allergy, peanut allergy ranks as one of the top three food, food allergens along with allergies to egg white and cow's milk. Alcohol drinking behavior. Many research studies on diverse ethnic populations have identified a vast array of genetic markers associated with elevated alcohol consumption. Uh, more likely, I don't really, no, I don't, I don't really, I don't drink alcohol. Not really. Air low size done. These these are first. Oh okay. Whoa, these are new. Earwax type. Drier earwax. So true. Right? My earwax just sometimes just pops out because it's dry. It's just, there are two kinds of earwax: the dry type and the wet type. The former is common in East Asian, while the latter is frequently seen in European and African populations yeah mine is very dry double fold eyelids double fold eyelids yep yeah but yeah double fold very interesting longevity shorter lifespan this trait ex examines the common genetic markers found for elderly humans of over 80 years old what more water loss via skin uh what does it say again uh what did it say? Uh, trans epidermal water loss. Trans epidermal water loss, T E W L, is an indicator for how well your skin functions as a physical barrier. Okay, so yeah, I do sweat like a lot, really. You can already see, like, I haven't done really anything. And my, my, my arms are sweating, like, for no reason that you can't really see on screen uh get on by sweating for no reason already just had a shower actually i don't know what this is let's see age spots age spots are typically harmless dark spots on the skin that develop uh with age and don't require medical attention okay more likely sagging eyelids is it eyelids or what do you say? Yes, yeah, sagging eyelids. Um, collagen is an important protein for determining skin texture. One of the genes involved in generating collagen is associated with the condition of silver eyelid sagging. Okay, sensitization to grass. Hay fever is a chronic disorder associated with sensitization to grass. Okay, intermediate. Next one, uh, job related exhaustion intermediate. Okay, every time it's so it shows intermediate, I'm just gonna not gonna read it. Okay, uh, male pattern baldness, low, lower risk, male pattern baldness or androgenetic alopecia, EGA, is a highly heritable condition and the most common form of hair loss in humans. So I'll have my hair for a long, long time. Tan more easily. Uh, yep. How easily tan is generally dependent upon how much melanin, melan, melanin skin pigment you have in your skin. So I do tan. Yep. Bigger hips. Bigger hips. Waist ratio. Body fat distribution is a heritable trait and a well-established predictor of adverse metabolic outcomes, independent of overall fat mass. So, waist hip ratio, bigger hips. So, that's, is it saying I don't have bigger hips? Okay. Or is it saying waist hip ratio? I don't know. What this is. Wait. This this is quite confusing now. Uh, here, tan more easily. Hi. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is trying to say I'm, my hips are not big. Okay. okay so this is trying to say I'm, my hips are not big. Okay. Waist size. Waist circumference is a measure for abdominal obesity. 
intermediate likelihood, excessive hairiness, which is a, or excessive hairiness is a characterized by abdominal hair growth in body where areas where there is typically little to no hair. I have a lot of uh, body uh, abdominal what abnormal oh abnormal growth. I don't. It's not abnormal growth, but I do have a lot of body hair. Uh, intermediate, intermediate eyebrow thickness. Intermediate, smaller breast. My breasts are pretty big, for for uh, male. I'd say. Um, shorter menstrual cycle. Law. Uh, intermediate. Okay. Uh, uh, go right up. Intelligence. Uh, this was done. These are done. Brain. Uh, uh, by the way, if you want to see more, uh, the ones I'm, I'm skipping these, like the ones, the first few ones, because those are the ones I've already done it on the other video. So, yeah. Um, brain arousal at resting state is intermediate. What did it say? Uh, intermediate. Okay, let's adapt at multi multitasking. In today's fast-paced world, multitasking seems like the best way we can we can get everything done on time. But it turns out that juggling more than one task uh, simultaneously is energetically costly for our brains. Okay, so I, yeah, I probably agree with that. Mathematical ability more acute. Okay, working memory intermediate, educational attainment intermediate, word reading ability less acute. Okay, sports. Okay. Uh, sports let's see um all right so I'm um, so here it says uh endurance performance poor per uh, endurance performance which uh, is not the right word use of word because there are two type two main types of muscle fiber slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers slow twitch generates continuous energy steadily is suited for endurance performance so what it's trying to basically say is um, I am fast twitch, my muscle fibers are fast twitch so uh, basically trying to say it's like uh, sprint, I'm good at sprints or using energy in quick bursts uh, as opposed to stamina kind of performance but um, yeah and faster, faster recovery, post exercise heart rate uh, recovery but yes of course because uh, this trait indicates the rate of heart rate recovery following exercise. Okay, faster recovery, more frequent physical activity, more frequent uh, hab habitual physical activity. The habitual physical activity indicates the indicates the frequency for which you get physical exercise every week. Okay, so okay, so here is a new one that has came through. It's called athletic ability. And it says, you thrive and perform highly when you play sports, uh, which is very true. Let's read what it says. Um, your athletic ability unsurprisingly determines your performance in sports. Athletics can be classified into strength slash power based activities like sprinting and endurance activities like marathons. And usually athletes specialize in one type. Although the type of sports activity that you excel at can be influenced by many factors, Genes also play a role in determining your performance in strength, base sports, and endurance sports. Okay. This is it, really. These are my um, uh, unlimited traits, all of my traits of uh, um, my, my DNA. So, new advice. This is new advice, and let's see what it is, what it's talking about. Your personalized advice by DNA experts. Get personal, personalized advice to improve your diet, nutrition, fitness, and other lifestyle habits through our partners. DNA experts are building algorithms to design advice tailored to you from your DNA. The future of science will be in your hands. Click below to learn more about what you can do with your DNA. Your personalized advice is available at a special price only for Genome Link unlimited users for personalized nutrition personalized exercise um, and yeah uh, this was my uh, actually all of it yeah all of my 
not all of it, but of course, uh, it has the cannabis use. Uh, gambling behavior, all these kind of resilience, and all all of these kinds of things. This is very interesting. Like um, this is insane. Um, yeah, I hope I hope you got some. You know, um, yeah, I hope you got some notes out of it as well. Um, link is in the description box down below. If you have already done your DNA test, or if you want to do one, uh, the links are down below. And yeah, you you can find the one that best suits you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're still watching this, don't forget to give a video a big thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think of these uh, insights of the DNA and the genes. And yeah, if you haven't yet, uh, make sure to do subscribe to the channel. Um, and also turn the notification bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, my voice is a little bit different because uh, something has been stuck in my throat. Uh, uh, that kind of thing and also I just had a shower so my hair is kind of different it's nothing on it just uh, still drying and yeah um, peace